All right, let's see how this basically works. So, we're gonna read this book here. We'll read a high twenty two of his pages, or a high twenty four of his pages, basically. So read. So fifty eight percent. Ooh, actually, Gar says Elsa survival skill. All right, so we got like you know, so, um, combat instinct again. We got inference attack. So damage when attacking with tools, basically. So you basically do more damage to tools. Energy saving. Uh, Zero point two energy decreases per turn. That's not a bad skill to basically get. I'm already doing enough damage to like my like you know my tax fear, so I think I'll just get energy saving. And let's just like you know enter turn. Enter turn. You know, I get the feeling that zombies know I'm in here, but you know, it'll be a while before they break through a garage door, so it's fine. Put some bang on the door, it's fine. Besides, I got weapons and stuff, so it's okay. Alright, so, um, let's see here. Thinking. Currently, we're using an 8.4 AP, so maybe I'll use, like, you know, um,. Five or six like AP to like to get energy back, I guess. Let's rest up here a little bit. Yeah, it's got a lot of HP at the door, so he's not getting in too too damn quick. Alright, here we go. Let's read. And that didn't give me another clean attack skill. Or you did. So we got clean attack basically twice apparently now. So I'm not sure that's basically how it's supposed to work. Basically, it probably should level up as like, you know, an existing skill that already exists, but whatever. I'm not going to complain too much about it. Basically, like, you know, I'm showing off stuff here. Let's throw that in here for now. And yeah, we got enough basically to kick out, like, you know, the zombie if we need to, so it's fine. Now, it's worth going by with the fire, it's giving me a light, a light source here, so... I guess as it decreases, it decreases like the light source, but you know, we're actually able to see around because of the fire here as well. Which is nice. Alright, so, um, we still got like a four hours before like sun, sun, you know, sunrise, so to speak. Now, one thing I'll do at this point, let's just like use the guidebooks around here to like, you know, maybe like look around these unified places near B. So. I'm probably gonna go this direction, but you know, let's see what this identified place right here maybe is, so. There's a library right there, interesting. So, we're more likely to find books in a library, obviously. So, library. I'm probably gonna go up to the electronic store here, but you know, that's not a bad thing to basically see right there, so, okay. There's a twofer over there, but you know, let's get a little bit closer to like, you know, get to it, I guess. Alright, let's see here. I want to basically rest here a little bit, so... Again, 8.4. So... Oh, I know it's because I have, like, high warfare, like, you know... Our, like, health isn't going down, but, you know... It will as soon as, like, the warfare goes away, so to speak. I'll we'll have to find for, like, you know, something to eat again soon, I guess. Yeah, let's just like use up some energy here. Rest up here a little bit. There we go, full energy. So now I got higher energy, so basically, like, you know, we got like more AP, I guess.
I'm really tempted at this point to see, like, you know, if it was worth it basically to get, like, morale basically all the way up. Just for a hell of it. That's something I could possibly do right, right now. It's like, you know, drink alcohol as well as all, like, these antidepressants. So, like, you know, we have, like, maximum, like, morale. But I'm really saving this for, like, later on because that's been really because of an issue. Like, you know, morale. So... Try not to waste is a, is a thing, so to speak. You know, I, I find fine about with electronics, like, you know, flashlights are technically weapons, apparently. You can really get back someone's head with them, especially, like, the, like, you know, the police, the ones the police basically use. The police have, like, you know, just beasts of flashlights, they're, like, you know, as powerful like, to, as their nightstick, so to speak, so... Alright, well, let's just, like, sort of wait here, I guess, so... Couple more hours. It's now daytime. Now, you know, it'd be really funny if I could actually, like, you know, be able to run these guys over like the, the fire truck, but you know, on no bet basically when you like you use like a fire truck to like to drive, it won't like you know drive through these guys or anything. I don't think so. We could drive basically over here. It'll take like one field base and move. All right, so there we go. We basically move around to like this place right here. Now I will note this by the way as well. I think when you like you move into like an area like this, like with a fire truck, it really should like show everything around the fire truck like initially, because you know, you were driving a fire truck probably into the place. You probably saw everything on the way in. So it seems a little odd that you can't, but whatever. All right, well let's just like look around. I guess is there anything I like to like you know take from here? I guess so. Got some armor. Got some like tools and stuff like that. I don't think we really need anything too special right now, so we can probably just move on. Get going. So, this is, this is a basic house, I guess, so... Let's go up this way. I'm about to note that my AP is basically full because, like, we're able to run around and... You know. Hello. I am going to bash your head in. Oh, then I kill him. So we'll have to use like, you know. We'll use something else that's like not as like, you know, damaging to this guy, I guess. So pliers maybe. Awesome. Ooh, he dropped stuff. So we can go here, we can get the stuff. It's basically some batteries, so... You can use the electronics to get following effects, basically charge. There's a rag there. So how about that? Yeah, they always will, you know, carry your stuff with them, right? So... Let's just get this. It's locked. Oh, there's like the electronic store basically up there, so. Oh, these zombies don't have any health on them or anything. But of course, I don't, I don't automatically kill them all, all the time, but whatever. Ah, uh, open this, baby. Awesome, we can get in here. So, let's get in here, and we'll close the window. My HP is starting to drop because, like, you know, we don't have, like, the warfare anymore to keep it basically up, so I have to go find some food immediately, so... You know, I'll, I'll look by the way, like, the take-all button should probably be a little bit bigger, so I don't, uh, um, you know, miss basically, like, hitting a take-all, but whatever. 
I mean, yeah, he can press G and like, you know, he can pick it all up right after. I'll have to check that, I guess. Hey, there's some food. Cereal. Yeah, I'll eat the cereal. I'm trying my HP to go up here a little bit. There's a book. There's a pepper and sweater, so... I got myself another sweater there, apparently, so now we're a little bit more, like, you know... Nice! A full, like, um, you know, Celsius to, um, right up from that. Pepper. There's a guidebook. We already, like, you know... Know a lot, but whatever. This goes to me a police station. That's useful, okay, so... Alright. There's some medicine. All right. Yeah, let's just press it, see if we're pressing G helps here. So G. No. So that's something that, like I think could be really better. So if I just want like just quickly just grab everything on the floor, um, there should be like you know maybe like I press G twice and it'll be on and I can pick it up. But um, you know, it works. But you know it could be better. At, right? Like you know picking up items like that. So you know it's not like wasting much time basically doing it. The lighter. All right, so time to get out of here. So let's move over to here. Let's get my AP back up or in the wharf here. So nice quick health visit. Basically, is like you know this was basically here. Uh, you know, it's not really too big of an issue with the fire truck, like, you know, saving AP or anything like that, because, like, you know, because of the fire truck, it, like, saves, like, my AP, like, driving to places, so it's not, like, too troublesome to, to like, to, you know, just use the fire truck, and, like, you know, beat up what's ever basically on your side when you get there. Yeah, let's put this in here. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. I'll read the guidebook when I get a chance to, but, you know. Huh. Another clean attack. Because why not? I'm not sure if it basically helps like learning a clean attack over and over again, but you know, whatever. I'm learning clean attack constantly, so whatever. Maybe it stacks, maybe it doesn't, we'll find out. Or maybe the developer will tell me. I assume the developer's going to watch this, by the way, because I did, like, you know, ask him already about, like, monetization and stuff like that, so... He's well aware that the video should be coming. Or should be. Who knows? Some people are forgetful. Wow, it's got like no durability on it. So worth knowing, apparently these wrenches don't do a whole lot of damage when you hit them with, um, on people, so... You want to use like fire accidents and stuff like that, I guess, to like, hit people like, with? Let's grab this, I guess. Um... There. Just drop my, like, you know, stuff down a little bit. Actually, you know what? I haven't really using planks that much for anything, so we'll just take two rags instead, so that's fine. And I know that, like, you know, as, as like, I'm driving around with, like, my truck, I'm using like, fuel, so if I was, like, down here like, at this, like, house, I would have, like, draw, like waste two fuel basically to get up here after, like, repairing the car, so you have to, like, watch out for that when you're like, you know, running around, like, you know, if it's worth the use, like, the, um, the vehicle or not. I'll probably like, just drive like here, 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 and then like that'll be it for like the fuel basically. So I'll we'll have to start walking at that point. Oh, there's a zombie over there, of course. I assume it probably like detects me, but who knows? You know, I'm tempted to do it just for the for for the sake of like showing it off, but you know. Boink. Let's do that. See if the zombie like does anything. You know, resolve that. Oh. 
There's a few zombies around, apparently. Now, I could cover his right, like, right is up, but he sees me already, so that's not really going to help me, so... We're just going to open this. He can get in this guy, but, you know... I can kill him right after he gets in, so it's fine. Oh, a small flashlight. MP3 player, lantern, small flashlight. On the part of an MP3 player can use to like get morale basically up, so you take like, you know, um You know, basically like, you know, a little bit like this like to get like your finger up. Oh it's broken. So never mind. Broken MP3 player. Alright, that like that arrow did, um in case like the last place he saw you, so you can actually like, lose zombies if you want to in this game. A screwdriver and battery. I'm just gonna move here and wait for him to come in and we'll just beat, blast his head in. We'll attack you. Um, I could use the pliers, but um, let's just get something that'll actually kill you immediately. Ooh, screwdrivers. These are all damaged, by the way, so. that. I'm just gonna collect this. Close the window. Now that guy definitely can see me there if I, if I, if I like, you know, basically leave him. Let's just go here. He'll attack this window, but that's like, like all I'll be able to be, really do. He didn't break the window apparently, so I can open it. We'll just bash his face in. Antibiotics again. Interesting. You find an electronic store, but okay. Hello. Here goes the machete, so one less item I see to worry about, but that's fine. I'm not lacking for stuff to find apparently in an electronics store. Just enter turn here to get our AP back a little bit. Battery, small flashlight, flashlight. I think about it. I wonder if I, I you know, when I'm looking at up to the house up here, but I wonder if there's another location basically up here. We see like this way basically up to the house up here, but you know, there might be an arrow in this direction if I like, you know, if I if I look around for it, so more stuff to look around for, so to speak. Let's go up here. Lantern, flashlight, MP3 player. And it's still broken, so... Oh! It's got a lot of charge on this one. I might try using a screwdriver in a moment, but you know. We'll get to that when we get to it. Alcohol! Alright, well, apparently to like get around here after you go out and in, or like, you know, around this way. Interesting enough. But I noticed that there is like another, like, you know, unfinished place up here, so... There is like a place up here. Who knows basically what, what's up there, though, so... I'll probably use like a guide map or something like to check out, like, what's there. I guess I put that away already, but, you know, whatever. Oops, nothing selected. Um, take this. He's dead. I came out here by just so I can access, like, you know, the fire truck. So we can throw this in here. Um, we don't need a medicine, so we can just throw that back in. 
I've got like no durability, so I'll let's take that round. We'll throw that basically back in. I really feel at this point like these flashlights aren't that useful, but you know. Whatever. Now let's take this around, why not? Let's throw that basically in there. These rags and these boards and stuff can go in there. Not that many rags, I want to keep a couple with me. Uh, there's the street map, we'll take this with me, we'll take this guidebook with me, we'll take this with me. Basically, like, this is what stuff I'm going to do like overnight, right? So, we can basically learn about stuff. I can all go in there. You know, I wonder if like, durability goes down on like, these items or not, because I think this did have defense at some point, but you know, it's, now it's gone, I think. I think it had like defense, I'm not really sure. Let's see. Is there anything in here worth like, you know, keeping is the thing, right? Let's take this, I guess. We'll take like, you know, a couple like pieces of things to burn. Now it's for how can I gonna take that around so I can like beat be someone in the face with it if I need to? Alright, we'll take a vitamin with me. I'll just pop it right now. Boink, there's some energy. You know, it'll be fun there's like a food pill or something like that in this game. Like, you know, eat, um, you know, a food pill and like get your city back. That'd be something that they should, um, should have, I think, at some point, but whatever. Oh! Oh, it's a zombie. I thought for a moment that might be, like, a, a person there, but, you know, not quite, um, you know, um, you know, quite such a thing. Now, if he moves over here, he'll be able to see me, but, you know, we'll just chase him down in a moment, it's fine. Oh! There's a broken door up there. Hmm. Well, we can kill these guys in here, I guess, so that's fine. Um. Let's hit this guy. Yeah, that's work. Kill with this. Kill you with this. He dropped a book, apparently, so that's interesting. But yeah, there's basically a broken door here, so... Hmm. I guess we'll lose this room and then we'll, like, we'll backtrack out of it. It'll be the plan. So... We'll grab this and this. Yeah, broken. Even if it's closed, the zombies can enter through the door and the view is not blocked either, so... Big ways to see us. Flashlight guidebook. Alright, so. Let's do that. Since we're staying here at night, let's just like cover this up. Like, you know, they won't be able to see me, hopefully. Let's do that, and we'll just like move over here. Let's start the fire. Police station, pharmacy. Ooh, novel. So novels probably they like give you morale maybe to read them, so you can actually get like your morale basically off of like novels is like the idea. There we go, there's a fire strength of 8, so that'll be like good to keep me alive for a little bit. Also get a warmth base back up here a little bit. 
So, high warmth, high Sadie. Well, low Sadie, but high warmth. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's fine. Oh! I have a feeling that there's, that there's a zombie out there, apparently. The zombie must have been, like, you know, nearby and it saw me, like, put the rag on, so... That's unfortunate. Well, let's see here. I'm gonna use this space to see what's up here, I guess, so... Awesome, we can basically check, like, two places there. So do that. I want to basically, like, you know, use as little AP as possible doing this, by the way, so... Ooh, we found the railroad! I'll note that the railroad is connected to Terminus, so... Um, you can actually follow like, the railroad up to, like, to where Terminus basically is if you want to. So, basically that's like a, a way of like, getting up to Terminus if you want to with this stuff here. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm about finding that. And I can actually read this spot if you want to, to try to get like, your morale basically up if you want, but you know... Um, we'll do that maybe another time. Let's just like read like the other stuff here. So, where about police stations is what I want to do right now? I think so. Police station here. Police station up here. There's a pharmacy basically over here. Okay, so pharmacies are far, far away. I think it sees me. So, we'll attack you. It's risky doing this, but I want to get the rags here, so... Grab the rags. Move back in. Close the window. Cover it up. At least this room is still warm. Though apparently, like, you know, the fire makes it a little bit warmer over here, so... Stay in the warmth. Alright, let's see here. Um, so... We're just gonna read these, like, guidebooks, I guess, for a little bit of, like, information, so... Find all the police stations. Sunrise in two hours. Awesome. No more places to find. Alright, so we found all the pharmacies and stuff like that. So... Pharmacy, 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 so lots and lots of pharmacies, but they're like all like on the other side of the map. Except for like the one I already visited over here, I guess. Now, I guess at this point, the plan will be that I want to go up and this way to the grocery store at this point, and we'll start like going up north because, like, you know, essentially the terminus is basically connected to the railroad, so the farther I go up north, the faster I'll basically find, like, you know, the um, what I'm basically looking for. You know, I completely forgot why I was basically in here. I was actually gonna like use like this time to like fix up the radio and stuff like that, so get morale basically back up or something like that. But whatever. Broken flashlight. Apparently I took a broken flashlight by accident there, but whatever. You know. Um, I think like, like flashes and stuff like that, you should be able to remove their like batteries and stuff like that if you want to, to like put them in other stuff. So maybe there's like should be like an option to like remove like charge and like get like batteries basically out of it if possible. 
But I suppose that doesn't really um, drive all like the early idea of like, you know, Paris has been like an energy item, so... Eh, it is what it is. Let's just rest up here. You know, I might just hang out here for a day, just like to do stuff in his house here. You should always be moving out as soon as it's up a game, but you know, I'll obviously like fix up the like, MP3 player or like our stuff here, so. Let's increase our morale here a little bit. Yeah, there was like my morale going like uh, like high up there. So high morale, AP increase. You know, I feel, sort of feel like I have high morale should be, like just help everything that you have. Like, basically, you know, everything um like you know completely should be helped by it. But whatever. That's kind of like, you know, not really worth it, but whatever. We got ourselves and we're obviously up to like full for the most part, so that's what that's been used for. There's clean attack again, so you do it again, I wonder. Alright, it's a little durability screwdriver, so we can use this to fix up like, you know, stuff here. I don't think I like to repair so like something like you know you can try and fix stuff here but you know um unless you have like the dexterity is like you know not very easy to do oh so basically the broken indicates like how broken it is like you know how much you have to fix it so okay so fixing stuff basically takes a while Okay, so if it's really broken, it's not really worth it. Well, that's something to learn, I guess, right now, so, you know, whatever. Ah, uh, let's see here. Let's read the book, I guess. Do 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 do. Read this book, get it out of the way. Oh, I didn't mean to get full AP like that, but oh well. There we go. Clean attack again. You know, I'm tempted to fix the MP3 player because I said I was going to, just so I can basically see like the morale increase and if it like you know stays at free basically and stuff like that. So let's just fix up the MP3 player, I guess. I don't really need to flash it fixed up, but you know that'd be useful too, I guess. All right, so we fixed that up a little bit. Oh, look at that. The durability of a screwdriver doesn't go down when you're basically like used to fix up stuff. Interesting. So, we'll fix this basically up. Alright, so, that's something that should probably be addressed by the way. I obviously used up like all my AP to fix that up. And like, you know, it used like, you know, I didn't need that much AP to fix it up, but you know. Well, now I basically have a fully like fixed up like MP3 player basically thing, right? So it it should be like, you know, if you don't need that much, then like it should be like, you know stop before like you use like that much AP, but whatever. Early access is the thing, right? Um So I can use this basically like I'll, I'll like, you know 
Give him around like 14% lose the charge. Oh good, it doesn't decrease or anything, so... There we go, full morale. Let's rust away here to get my energy back up a little bit. So it's broken, but it's almost fixed. So... Hey, look at that. Higher morale and higher energy. So basically, I'm getting, like, you know, a, max, a massive amount of, like, you know, morale increase, basically, from all that. That's fixed, basically, up. Fix up this lantern here a little bit. I don't need to fix up the lantern, by the way, but you know. It's just useful, you know, just to show it off, like, you know, fixing up stuff. See here. Just have a look around, basically around stuff, you know, see what's around me. All right, let's see here. So that's good to know, basically, about the like the screwdriver being like you know something that basically can use like that. So I assume tools basically don't like use up their charges. Then, if if that's is that the case, we basically use it for stuff like that. Put this in here. So I'm gonna read that, I guess. We'll put this in here. Alright, is there anything else in here I want to fix up in the case then? So. Those of the, like, the smaller flashlights, they don't have as much brightness. That's the good thing about them, I guess. But they seem to have a lot of charge on them. So that's cool. Have like that as like a backup flashlight, so to speak. Batteries. Let's grab these. Grab this. I'm gonna fix up this other one just for hell of it, I guess. I don't really need to, I shouldn't really fix up the other one, but you know. We're just gonna fix it up, we'll try powering it up and see how it basically goes, you know, stuff like that. Take a little alcohol with the, you know, with me, so. Glug, glug, glug. There's six morale. There we go, fix up the MP3 player a little bit there. Hey, look at that! So, you've accumulated enough experience, the action for survival and organizing a body is useful to skill survival. I can level cat's eye basically to like, you know... I guess we can't actually, so... Here's the fun for the note, by the way. I guess like, you know, these skills, like, you know, confident instinct, it like levels up, but the other ones don't. Like, really, I should... I think the game should check to see like you have your skills and like, you know... Work with it that way. Yeah, why not? Common instinct level 2. I'm a soldier, you know, I kill stuff. Look at that, like, you know, change basically, so. Lots and lots of morale basically change from like doing stuff.
almost fixed her up. There we go, fixed her up. You can listen to it. I'll see how this battery space works. So, this currently has like a charge of like 46. I can put stuff into it or not. I can put stuff in this one. So, this is as simple as like charging up like that and it can like use like three more times. So, all right, not bad. I guess I'll rust up a little bit here at this point, so... Let's rust up here a little bit. Oh, look at that, it's raining, because why not? I should probably know, probably, there's really nothing stopping me from, like, you know, going, like, you know, elsewhere at this point. Put this in here, by the way. You know, I was carrying our bags is actually a bad idea, so I might just do that. Just carrying them around to me as I go around to these places. Alright, so we're in a new place here. I see a building up here. I see windows over here, apparently. You know, I wonder if it's like Left 4 Dead where like the rain agitates the zombies a lot. Oh, no, no time getting like more wet, more wet here, but because like, you know, um, basically like, you know, we're like, you know, outside and like the more we walk around here, the more wet we get. We'll close that up. And like next there'll be like negative ten percent, so that'll be nice. Hey, we found orange. Yum. There's a hammer and a frying pan. Oh! Frying pan! If there's a fire, it can be used as a um, used to cook. It uh, can be used as a weapon. All right, interesting. So that's how we basically cook. You need a frying pan for it. Good to know. Let's grab this. Yeah, I I, I don't have that much visibility even with my cast size, so. Really want to use this flashlight to look around and stuff. And there's a zombie moan out there apparently, so they see me, of course. Um, let's open. I'm just gonna kill this guy melee. I'll jump back inside. I don't have the AP to close the window, so we'll end their turn here. That's really risky, by the way, because, like, like, you know. There could be another zombie out there, for example. Well, this guy isn't really going to be able to get to me, but whatever. Hey, yeah, drop stuff. Let's go grab his stuff there. Copy. Oops, there's another one down there, apparently. You know, I sort of wish we had like those vitamins to get my like you know stuff basically back up, but whatever. Let's just move back basically up here and wait for him to get up me, I guess if we can. But I know my wetness went up to 60% there, so it does go up pretty damn high if like you're outside you're caught in the rain. We will kill him.
Boom. Let's do that. You know, it's worth my, my my wetness is like you know really decreased my like my like you know warmth at this point. I want like a fire of like help with like you know warming up myself a little, here a little bit. Ooh, thick book, towel, and bandage. So towel. It can use to dry off. When used, it becomes a rag. Using it gives the following effect. Uh, so wetness, uh, you know, ninety five percent. So okay. There we go. I'm no longer no wet. So, that's what that does. Awesome. To the thick book, by the way, so... Alright, so, note that there's like a, a, a stat increasing book right there, the thick book, but, you know, we've already increased our combat, so we actually can't benefit from it, so it's not, you know, it's great automatically. Alright. Oh, you know what? I think that, like, you know... Here's something up by I think this room, like, here is, like, closing us, like, you know... Closing this door? Or not? Okay, so I guess the rag actually do, like, you know, benefit, but, you know, it's getting colder at this point, so... I'll have to watch out for that a little bit. There's an undefined place busy up there, apparently, so... Something up up there. I know my street maps. So I can't actually tell what's up there, but whatever. Jackets, sewing tools, and chips. So we got ourselves some, you know, more clothing to wear. Nice. That gives like a bit of defense there. So nice. Temperature also increased a little bit, so that's nice. Lightweight, jacket, MP3 player, ammunition. Steel pipe and tool parts. Alright, so. Alright, oh, yeah, probably no, you can actually like, uncover this stuff to take the rag back. If you want to. Ooh, that guy's almost dead. Um. Let's get rid of the wrench. So we'll get this. Go over here. You can go in there. We'll keep the steel pipe around for now. Put this stuff in here. Put this in here for now. Put this in here for now. Put this in here for now. Oh, I know, another broken MP3 player, because why not? I'm going to put that in there for now. You know, I sort of feel like that with clothing, by the way, you, get, you can probably wear this much clothing, but, you know, it probably should be at the point where, like, you have to select, like, what clothing you're basically wearing to, like, you know, get the benefits from it. So maybe you can, like, have a square and, like, have, like, you know, um, a jack on top of it, and then that'd be, like, it. But, you know... Lightweight jack is pretty good. Let's just fix that up a little bit more to get more benefits from it. We we'll put this in here. Put this stuff in here. And yeah, we're starting to get weighed down at this point by a lot of stuff, so. Now, I wonder like you can cook chips or something like that, so let's just grab like, you know, pepper and salt. You know what, I actually want to see if I can find some proper food or something like that, so let's put this in here for now, we'll put this in here for now. I want to take this for a moment just like, to look around. So 
there was a couple houses up in that direction apparently good to know probably go like over here then like you know this direction around to the police station I guess so we'll just drop this basically in there you know what I have the light for a reason so let's warm up here a little bit so Add some fuel. You know what? Let's add this car into it. It's not really that beneficial to me. And let's get rid of it at this point. You know, we got the fire as well, so might as well see if this does anything. So grab this stuff. Cook. Make cooked meals like my ingredients, so... Uh, fresh cooked meal. So basically I get, like, you know, morale basically from it, freshness result. Pepper with salt, it gives me more morale apparently. Alright, so basically just like, you know, it adds to stuff, it doesn't really do much outside of that, salt and pepper, so... We'll do that with the chips, I guess. And then I can, like, eat the chip basically to, like, you know, just say the warmth and morale. Nice. Alright, well, that's basically, like, good to know about fresh cooked meals, so... You learn stuff, basically. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna go in there. You can go in there. High warmth, high morale. High energy. Alright, well, there's our first zombie attack. So note that basically because I had like armor, it like took a hit from this guy. But you know, P basically just came from over here and like, you know, he's got lots of movement from this guy right here. With him. Alright, let's pick this up. Alright, well. This seems like a good stopping point by at this point to, like, you know, leave you guys, basically. So, we basically, like, got through, like, you know, um, from, like, you know, our initial, like, starting house, wherever it was. This one right here, I guess. Went for a nice little, like, you know, you know, this, like, you know, run around around here. Go to the grocery store probably next and like, you know, maybe down to like, you know, the library and police station perhaps. We'll see. I'm not basically like, you know, it remained uh, obvious basically to like, you know, obviously like, you know, escape though, so. Unless like you really need to, you probably still, you know, it's like, you know. Just like book it, so to speak, is, is the idea of this game, but whatever. Clean attack, clean attack, clean attack. But whatever. Alright, so. We'll see how she keeps going, but for now, take care.